Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Akakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a divine to the apostles, a great millstone, who are some of this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings so that I can cross the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth from where it's like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. I love when the video is edifying. I love when I can get something from this video. Uh, just a quick video. I'm going to grab a couple of precepts here in Colossians. Uh, the third chapter um and basically just what the video is going to be about is um you know uh re renewing um continuing to to renew righteousness every day you know with you know with putting on the the new man and, and putting off the old man um one thing in this world is that and as you can see now the enemy right that from your from your from your youth you've been indoctrinated to go against the lord right and the only lord that you knew which is not a lord was this this which is not a lord or a god um which is the so-called white image that they show you um and the reason why the enemies have done this is to take you away from the real lord right and take you away and and, and take you away from your identity to serve their purpose, because if you worship some something that looks like them, then you're more prone to listen to them. You're more prone to fall into their snares and their traps because you think that you're doing the right thing. Right. But. You got to come out of that. That's why scriptures say, well, you got to become as a as a child, you know, a, you know, if you got nieces and nephews and things of that nature, um, you know, they are, you know, been around kids, you understand that kids ask a lot of questions, right? And because their brain is like a sponge, they're soaking it up. They ask a lot of questions, man. You know, and because they want to learn. Okay, um, and that's how we got to be in this thing. You can't put new wine in an old bottle, so you can't take which the the old man in the world. And this girl is crazy. You can't take the old man in the world and put him in and try to mix and mingle them, mingle them in the truth, right? It's a constant fight and putting them off every uh, day by day, okay? Day by day, you know, but only the men of the Lord are going to, you know, truly put that, that old man off, man, and, and try to put that old man off, okay? This is uh, Colossians 3, and, uh, and sometimes the Lord will put you in situations and in and, and, and different have you experienced different things? So therefore you can self-examine, you know, who you, the things you've been doing, the things you've done, the things that you've said, right? The things that you planned on doing, right? The Lord can, the Lord can put you in situations where you, you have to examine yourself. Okay. Which is a beautiful thing because it's part of his chastening. If the Lord didn't care about you, then he wouldn't, put you in situations to where you got to sit there and, and correct yourself. Okay. You got to sit there and, 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 and want to change. Okay. You got to sit there and, and look in the mirror and be like, no, nah, you wrong for that. That's some shit. That's some nigga shit right there that you just, you just tried to do or that you just thought of or that's in the back of your mind. That's some nigga shit. Nah, hell nah. Right? What would the new man do? What would the what would the what would the what would a, a man of the Lord do? You know? Not what would a nigga do. Not what would the old man do. Okay, this is Colossians three. I'm gonna jump down. It says, um, you know what? This is Colossians three and in uh five it says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, right? Evil concupiscence, you know, going like that's having a, a strong sexual desire, right? And covetousness, which is idolatry. It says, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. It says, in the which ye also walks, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, right? Because when we lived in those things, we were in the world. Okay? It says, but now you 
ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, right? Blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, right? Malice, working evil, right? Having a, you know, bad intention, okay? Anger, right? Wanting to, you know, not having a, a pure and honest way of dealing. That's what a nigga do. That's what your enemy will do. Right? Like the brother said the other day, man, you know, the thing about being in this truth is that you got to be, you got to, you got to be upright at all times. Even if somebody, you know, somebody's full of shit, you still got to deal with them honestly. You know what I mean? And you can't reward evil with evil. And in certain situations, you'll be forced to leave it in the, in the most high's hands, man which is a test of faith, right? Which is, you know, a test of your character. Like I said earlier, you know, you can't... Scriptures say that the Lord, roughly paraphrasing, um, you know, the Lord will be found of... of uh, a man that tempt him not. And the scriptures say what? Don't tempt the Lord. Okay, you can't see what a nigga do and then go do what that nigga do and think that just because you know the truth that you're not going to get the same consequence as that nigga got, right? Because scriptures say what? There's no respect to a persons, right? Now, in our ignorance, the Lord... He does deliver, deliver us out of situations, right? Because he's merciful. But again, the Lord will be found of him that tempt him not. Okay? It says, uh, but uh, let me see. But now you also put up all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Right. So some of us had these different things. Right. But when you come into the truth and you and you start. Trying to put on as the elect. Right. You got to understand that. Well, what is the characteristics characteristics of a man of the Lord? Is he ill willed? Is he covetous? Right. Does he seek permanence? Right? Does he does he want to have authority over men? Does he pick and choose what scriptures he read and scriptures he don't read and what books he don't read? Does he say, oh, I don't believe in the book of Hebrews because I don't know who wrote it? <laughs> right? Or does he say, let me have faith. Let me do the right thing. Right. Let me pray. Right. If my brother, uh, you know, offend, let me forgive him. Right. If I see my brother going off, let me rebuke him. So therefore. He, you know, he might be spared from the judgment that he'll do if he continue that he'll get if he continue to go off. Right. Let me serve. Like I read a quote the other, uh, or something the other day and uh, it wasn't a quote, but I read something the other day. It said uh, the one who's the king is the one like at a barbecue, right? The one who's the king is the one that's on the grill. And that goes over a lot of people head. But what it was basically saying is that the one is the, who's the king is the one that sir is the one that's making sure everybody taken care of. Right. You got some people that want to be in king just to have authority over men or authority over people. Right. They have an ill will reason. And that's not, you can't call yourself a man of the Lord if that's, if, if, if you want power to, to have authority over people. Yahweh Shai, right? We know how great Yahweh Shai is. He washed the, the disciples' feet. Right? Scriptures say what? The greater thou art, the humble that you must be, the more humble you must be, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. 
right? It's no big me, little you in this thing, right? But obviously we have rank and you have different, but rank is so the body, right? Rank is so the body could, could be could be in order. And organized. Right? So there's no confusion. Okay? It says, In the which ye also walked some time when you lived in them, but now ye also put up all these. And, oh, it's like I read that. Let me jump down. It says, uh, uh, 10, it says, And have put on a new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Right? Knowledge, wisdom. Law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? 12, it says, Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies. Right? This is what it means by when it says, put on as the elect. Right? What would the elect, what would them, because obviously the elect are the men of the Lord. What would they do? Okay? It says, as the elect, put on, as therefore, put on, therefore, as the elect, of the most high, holy and beloved, bowels of, of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Amashiach forgave you, so also do ye. Right? Blesses the merciful. Okay? Now let me grab this. Uh, let me see if there's some more knowledge. Let's see. Let me grab this and I'll close the video. Let me get Proverbs 3 real quick. I was um, reading this yesterday. And it was it's good to read. It says, Proverbs 3 and 1, it says, My son, forget not my law. Because when you when you try to walk uprightly, then it forces you to be honest. It forces you to be honest and walk honestly. Okay, it says, but let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee right this is what the law and wisdom provides for it says so sh so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the most high and men trust in the Lord Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not un and lean not unto thine own understanding right because even the Lord said what? His thoughts are not our thoughts. Okay, it says, In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he sh and the scriptures also say what? Don't afflict yourself in your own counsel. And it also says that, uh, Blesses the man who conscious has not condemned him. Man, we in his flesh. We experience stress. We experience sleepless nights. We experience bad days. We experience fucked up feelings. We experience different emotions. Right. Rather be happy or rather be good or bad. Right. And all that could have a toil on your mind just to back and forth. Right. But that's why scriptures say what? Right. It says what? Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. OK. It says what? The the uh, the Lord's name is a. Uh, high tower, if I'm not mistaken, and the righteous run to it, at roughly paraphrasing the scripture. It says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Right? Be not wise in your own eyes, man. Okay, it says, fear the Lord Yahweh and depart from evil. Which we've been taught to do evil since we were young, growing up here, just growing up in because the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So it's under a wicked vibration. So they teach you how to, to go against everything righteous. But when you come into the truth, you got to be renewed. Right? It says, My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord Yahweh, neither be weary of his correction. Right? Because you're going to get chastened, which is correction. All right? You're going to go through things. Try it in a fire, man. 
It says, for whom the Lord Yahweh loveth, he correcteth. Even as see the wicked, right? It seems like the wicked is getting away with a lot, but the Lord don't care about the wicked, man. Yeah, they're going to have to pay, right? They're going to have to pay. At the end, they, they're going to have to pay for that tab with their life. But scriptures also say that we receive ours now, so therefore we're not condemned with the world. Okay, it says, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth, happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Okay, because it brings peace, knowledge, right? You know, what to do, how to do it, right? What's the right move to make? Okay, 15, 15 it says, she is more precious than rubies. And this is talking about wisdom. So she is more precious, precious than rubies and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Right. And man, with wisdom, you, you get those things come with wisdom. Right. A perfect example of that. And, and, in, and, and in due time, it will. But a perfect example of that is look at Solomon. Right. Look what he was rewarded year after year after year. Right. From the, the Queen of Sheba. Um, just for his wisdom. OK, it was the wisdom. It wasn't it was the wisdom, man. OK. It says uh, length of because what it said, what I mean, he had everything and he had things in order. To the point to where she gazed and saw, and she it says what well, she gave up the ghost. She passed out, man. Amazed at the wisdom of Solomon. Okay? It says length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. So there's no bad thing in wisdom. There's no bad thing, you know, with getting it. If gold, if you think gold is to be desired, how much more wisdom? OK. How much more wisdom in, 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 in righteousness and being. A better, you know, being a better uh, version of yourself every day. And putting off. The wickedness. Right. That you were taught in the world, man. OK. So this is what, you know, putting on as the elect, what, what would the man of the Lord do, man? Would he brag about, oh, I know God with me. I know this. I know that. I know that. I know this. I know that. Yeah, man, God, this, you know, God, that. And, you know, they can't do it, but we can go do it. I know we part of the elect. Like, it, it, like that's not what that's saying, man. Or is actually telling you to walk upright in righteousness. And even though we in his flesh, we still got to do it, do it to the best of our abilities. OK, so with that, low in the videos, edifying, low in the Akim. I got some from this video. I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rokakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.